Hello and welcome Sifu Disciples. Today we're going to talk about the secrets of Sifu. There's a bunch of them. And while we're not going to give you all of them, I'm going to say it right off the bat. We want you to figure it out for yourself. But we're going to give you the guide on how to unlock all of them. Pretty much everything you'll need to know right off the bat. So make sure you stick around for that. Before we do that, a little quick advertisement. I am going to be live streaming this game a bunch. I'm not going to go for the world record, but I'm going to go for my world record. I want to do under an hour beating the game fully. Then I'm going to do a 20 year old run and then maybe a no hit, which is another conversation for another day. But yes, check out our videos. We also have tutorials for combat, how to beat the bosses, how to get the good XP to unlock skills and so much more. With that out of the way, we want to discuss this secret and most of the secrets. They're pretty basic and we're going to start off with one and explain why it's important. So first and foremost, just play through the game. OK, use my combat guide and use my how to beat the bosses guide. They pretty much give you the general breakdown on what to expect and how to get good um, from there. You're going to unlock a lot of secrets already. You're going to get extra keys to special shortcuts. You're going to get keys to a lot of stuff. But this right here, the perfect example, the first time you play this, this gentleman doesn't say much. The second time you can tell him you want computer access. He's going to say what computer access. And from there, you're going to tell him it's about the corporation. This will impress him and say, wow, you're willing to take on somebody like that. Something like that. OK, here you go. So he'll give you a USB key, which is good because then you're going to use that key to head to the fourth level, a.k.a. the tower where you take on the CEO. But before you take on the CEO, you're going to head into this room where you're going to access the computer and be able to unlock even more secrets. So this is just one of many small, cool features. This is going to open up a safe that's going to allow you to get more out of the game when it comes to the Lord. So then all of a sudden you have the key for the artist. And now you can go back into the third mission, the museum, and go ahead and unlock that with her. So again, these are all connected together. Your job is to explore a little bit and take your time with these type of things. And how much more is there? There's a lot. And I'm sure you're probably upset at I'm me not wanting to go and make a 15 minute video explaining each secret. But these are some of the type of secrets. The rest are pretty simple. You're going to go to a location, find a key on a table and it's yours. You're going to beat a boss. He'll give you a key and it's yours. And a good example about bosses specifically later on in the game. Um, after you beat the final boss, he will give you a key to the first area where you can go ahead and get into a secret room where you're going to find yourself some goodies. And in this room right here, it is important that you take your time get what you need and get out. So this is a problem with a lot of gamers. We're rushed through. We kind of just excited to get to the boss and do things like that. But we can unlock this. Now you're going to get your trophy and, you know, platinum the game. Plus, you can 100 percent the game. And it's just a good way to continue to enjoy this game. While we all know the combat and just fighting in general in this game is top tier. It is a good thing to be able to explore and really unlock all of the secrets. OK, so that's pretty much the video. Um, I'm going to take a second here to plug once again that I will be live streaming this and I'm trying to break records. I'm, I'm not usually the person to try and too hard on games. I like to enjoy them and that's it. But this game got me competitive and wanting to perform well. So I think an under an hour stream 
which will be uploaded hereafter, would be fun to try. Um, no deaths, and we'll see. Okay, so that is the, the breakdown. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and do all the stuff you do. See you later, my seafood disciples.